deluxe bunny and then two bunny pops and then vinegar cheese and red chicken. Perfect. Today we had cane cutters in Glenwood. Uh, this place was recommended as having some of the hottest bunnies in Durban and they're also award winning having won the Coca-Cola Bunny Chow Barometer in 2016. <laughs> they're very proud of it. <laughs> this bad boy is the deluxe mutton bunny. Better meat, more meat, no bones. As you can see, it's got a beautiful potato sitting on top. Let's dig in, give it a try. Tastes good, tastes good. I didn't get a lot of gravy on that bite, so let's try a little piece of uh, lamb. Mm, lovely. Very tender, flavorful lamb. Let's get a sense of this gravy. Oh, so you give an impression of underwhelmed. Mm. Mm. Very nice. Um, but with the hype and the deluxe, I was expecting something really um, out there. I think it is flavorful and I can taste it spicy. The burn is growing. I would have preferred more gravy on this, to be honest. Uh, but still, very tasty. And let me give you my thoughts once I'm finished. Leaf going in for the broad bean bunny with mutton gravy. It's very tasty, but the mutton gravy was forgotten. So it loses points <laughs> for mutton being just gravy? not, didn't come with it. Oh, it didn't come with the mutton no. gravy. <laughs> Just, so it's just a beans bunny. Okay. Very flavorful though. Very mm. tasty beans bunny. In fact, much spicier than usual. Got a veg chili. Mm. This one's a top one. Oh, I have to say, uh, stealing a piece there. Mm. Oh, it's a top beans bunny. Better than the mutton. I decided to. Uh, call for the extra mutton gravy I'd ordered. Mm -hmm. It's uh, such a naughty treat to go vegetarian with the extra gravy. You're going to see how freaking awkward I am with my uh, hands. Mm. A nice addition. Definitely not the most complex mutton gravy. I think maybe that's where it loses some points. The beans bunny is actually a much better curry. But it's nice to have a little meatiness. <laughs> So it ended up being extra mutton gravy for the mutton curry. Yeah, <laughs> that's what it needed. Uh oh, uh oh, it's going off the plate. Stay. Don't let it go in your shoe. <laughs> that will be the real disaster. Okay. You want some more? Okay. I'll add as now I want. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know I'm filming, right? Um, <laughs> it's, it's okay. That's going in. <laughs> Final thoughts. Definitely worth a visit. The mutton bunny was very good, but I thought it could do with more gravy, and I did think the gravy was a little bit single noted. Uh, it didn't have a really great depth of flavor that you sometimes get. The beans bunny was really excellent. That scores uh, very highly and overall both bunnies were great and uh, I did find that it was one of the more spicy bunnies we've had. Cane Cutters has more of a restaurant vibe than some of the places we go to so it's quite a good place to sit down, it's air conditioned, it's quite mm. comfortable, they've got pretty efficient service there and True, they've got biryanis and yeah there's lots stuff. of options to choose from biryanis, curries, whatever you're looking for. So Owen says go and then Come to Afros afterwards to get some Paul's ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Proudly South African peppermint crisp tart. <laughs> For Heritage Day. Yeah.